So there is a lot of healing happening with masculine energy and a lot of uh, fuck that is just so much. You know, I feel I'm a healer, you know, and what I have to offer is my medicine and my medicine, it's me, you know, what I have to offer. And some people, and that's what I do, you know, I go to places, I create change, I create healing, I create ascension, I create, I heal, and I help growth, and and love, you know, and I just love so unconditionally that that growth happens out of love, just because of love, because that's needed for transforming oneself. So... I'm with this very powerful man, and we need, uh, you know, it's, it's, we're both really powerful, and he manifests a lot of the things, and I manifest a lot of the things, and, and I have found myself, you know, submissive, like, putting his thoughts above mine, putting his ideas above mine, putting his standards above mine, putting pretty much him more above my own. And, you know, I'm finding and realizing, you know, what's healthy and what's not healthy and how things make me feel over time. And over time, if I'm doing that, it's not making me happy. It's not making me feel appreciated. It's not making me feel that I love myself and then I build resentment towards myself for allowing myself to do that, you know, knowing that I'm fully capable of also creating and manifesting, you know, and just living the way I decide to live. But yeah, I also know that I have chosen to learn from relationships and to grow and and I really want that to happen. And maybe I have, you know, how much is uh, an ideal, how much is a uh, program, you know, how much are we programmed into this type of relationships. So I'm finding myself, you know, having all those viruses and leaks in my subconscious is still like manifesting um, unhealthy, unhealthy things. And reminders, you know, towards myself that are just keeping me from expressing myself. And I don't like that. So it's just really empowering me more. Because I have to set more strong boundaries. I have to become empowered, you know. To match the other person's power, I have to become really empowered. And, and that's how it goes, you know. We're just powerful people. Powerful, powerful. And if the other person doesn't like anything that I'm doing... And I can see my life being sabotaged by the thoughts of because of the other person's feeling is not com- uh, comfortable with whatever I'm choosing. So then I see shit happen in my life that prevents me from going further into what I'm choosing to do. So, and I don't want to blame nobody. Maybe it's also me manifesting something to make things happen, you know, to make the other person feel more comfortable. I don't know. I don't know, maybe I'm crazy, you know, but I don't want to also blame nobody. It's all also me. It all comes to me and that relationship that I have with myself and how am I prioritizing my masculinity and my femininity, how am I treating my divine self and how I'm treating my mother, how I'm treating my family and what I want to set a relationship and what I don't. Um... I've been really independent, I've been really self-centered, you know, and that's also true my mom, my mom's really like that, and, uh, and at the end, you know, like, there is no other way than projecting what we saw when we were growing up, we always do that, we can attempt to do that. And I've been also, and I have two sides of my family where I have two programs, you know, and one is either being on my own self and doing my own thing and being happy and fun and just keeping life going and sharing and and feeling accomplished and, you know, my relationship with life and how life relates to me and, and that's how I can choose it or in partnership and still doing that, 
you know, I really like my relationship to be two people witnessing our dreams coming true and not judging each other's ideas or thoughts or, wait a minute, no, I think my idea is better than yours. I don't think that's cool at all. So, I know, you know, I'm just like having some uh, downtime and wanting to help. I really want to help overcome all of this overpower, you know, overpower towards women. And and, to, and mostly we don't that to ourselves, you know, because that's what we don't do ourselves, really. It all comes to ourselves and how we want to be treated. So for me and for my femininity and my divine higher self, you know, I'm just wishing that we become heard and, and taken in with love and, you know, and being taken care of with gentleness and kindness and just uh, protectiveness and security and no attachment and, like, all right, now I got you under my control and you can't do nothing and you're safe here so you don't have to go do nothing else in your life but this. Okay, there is a balance, you know, like I allow you to protect me and love me and care of me. But I, you know, but me knowing that you have that allows me and makes me want to go out there and be more fierce because I have you doing that for me. You know? And then if I'm not doing that, then it's like, okay, well, this is then no working at all. Because I'm allowing you to do this for me. You know, I'm allowing you to love me. I'm allowing you to protect me. I'm allowing you to care for me. And... So thank you, thank you, and, you know, if then, then this other part, you know, where, like, in my past relationships, I will be here, and I'm doing everything for you, you know, and I'm giving you the best, and you have the best. Me, no, really feeling like it's true, you know, like, men feel like they are giving the best, and sometimes it's really not. It's what they think it is, it's best for us, but they're not asking us what's the best for us. And then over empowering, you know, like, I don't know. So anyway, just waves of, of things that still need to be healed and things that still need to be, like, worked in relationships that I see and mostly when men have been hurt. So much, you know, suppressing their emotions, but like forcing them to step it up and prove themselves with their worthiness. You know, how much are you worth? How much can you provide? You know, like that type of thing. So, I don't know. I just want a balance between men and women. And I want that respect and divine love and like, just gonna happen independently of for past or not. You know, there is a collective that is still healing and there is a lot of patriarchism in other parts of the world. There is so much uh, instinctive and power and, and uh, entitlement towards women, you know? Like, why would a man will feel entitled towards a woman ever? There is no excuse. No one should. No one. No one. No excuses. No one is entitled to nothing. And mostly when we're talking about another human being. Uh -uh. Not even I, me as a mother, I don't even call my child mine because it's not mine. My, my, mine. You know, it's the, the child. I'm just here helping progress, ascend, guide. That service of this independent human being, and that's him for himself. It's its own, if that makes sense. I'm just trying to explain that we're all our own, we're not nobody's, or we're for ourselves, you know, and not even for ourselves, we're just uh, 
link and connection to the rest. I just hope that I'd say my point out there. So don't feel entitled of anybody else's life, you know, their choices, their thoughts, their ideas, their dreams. You have no right to mess up with any desire, dream, intention, aspiration, even if you think they're wrong and you're doing something right by telling them they're wrong. That's so bad. That's it's so fucked up. I'm sorry, but that's fucked up. Everybody has a process, you know, everybody has a process in this life, every timing. So we have to respect, even if people are in complete ignorance. You can't do nothing about it. You can't be the savior. You can't. The persons, the people need to realize shit on their own. So allow them. And out of love and respect, you are going to have to allow them. You know? Or maybe, yeah, no, that's it. Allow them, I love them to grow and come forth, you know, it's so all with love. I know there's a lot of people out there also, you know, who definitely need some awareness, but we can't just go slap them on the face, you know, like, oh yeah, you, are, you want it to grow, right? Here, let me slap you in the face so, so that you can actually wake up and see, you eh, know. And then what are you creating for the future? More trauma. You're creating just more trauma and more resentment towards growing and transforming because it wasn't coming from a natural state. You know, it wasn't coming on uh, and a flow where they realize the things. So, I don't know. Maybe I'm just venting out we shut here. If I'm wrong, if you have any other healthier ideas, happier ideas, let me know. I'm learning about how, how this like relationship works and how a family works. But then there is so many ways of having a family. There is so many. There is all kinds of families out there, really. And you can't really idealize one type of family. Really, you can't. You know, a family is just just home. You know, home where you can actually be and feel love and protected, secure, and embrace independently of your ups and downs. And they're just there forever and help them to arise. Guide each other, you know, and keeping. Not disturbing anybody else's, not getting in trouble with society, but just uh, guide it, you know? Just like with free choice. At the end, we have to let other people have that free choice and respect the decisions and love them. For if you really, really love the people you say that you do, you just love them without attachments, without forcing them to do something that makes you feel comfortable, you know? Or... I don't know. That's just silly. Silly. Emotional manipulation is fucked up. I don't know, like it and I don't agree with it. And yeah, I guess I also have to mature myself and stand up for for more of my own beliefs and what I'm coming from because I out of love I have heard my other people's perspectives of what they consider is better or right. And then I put it into consideration, you know, and then I put, sometimes I even put it on my own, on the side, so I can continue listening, and and then at the end I'm like, whoa, shit, I have all these thoughts of these ideas, they're not mine still, they're yours, because things work differently for everybody, we're all different, because a certain type of thing works good for you, doesn't mean it's going to work for everybody else's. Everybody has their own way of working things out. So it's respect. So anyways. I just hope that I... I don't hope nothing. I wish and I declare and I demand... Because I am worth of being loved and being taken care of and just being having support and 
and all of my dreams, you know, everything I would desire, it will come. So I'm stepping more into co-creating with awareness and consciousness instead of letting the media tell me what I should dream of. So I'm dreaming. I'm just dreaming really of... Uh, of this present moment. I'm really in love with with this present moment. Um, maybe a more relationship with life. I want to have a more impact in life. Um, and I don't need to also. I enjoy, I really enjoy my present moment. And I am very grateful that I have this relationship with myself because I have in this, I don't need nothing else. Having me, I don't need nothing else. And yet I choose to either go out there and share or stay at home and still share, you know. So I love all this, all this beautiful social media stuff. So I don't, I'm going here, my own peace, not having other people talking or disturbing or putting things in my subconscious that they may have filtered there and then, you know, if they're not being conscious enough of their words, of everything they're saying, then I'm fine. I'd rather just go on YouTube and put my Simali movies on Nicholas Tesla or Bruce Lipton or Graham, you know, and Hill. There's so many people there that I can learn from, you know, that I'm choosing what do I want to feed my consciousness and from there, just, you know, evolve. So, I enjoy this a lot. And the fact that I can be here sharing and expressing myself to the world by just being myself. And this is me being myself. And just putting my thoughts into words and hoping, and not hoping nothing. Detached, detached from everything I'm saying. Knowing they might change in the future because... Um, everything, everything changes. That's nature. That's transformation. I wish all of you are having a wonderful, loving, incredible relationship with yourselves. So much that is reflected on the outside. I really, really wish that for all of you. If you have so much love, you know, no matter if you're alone or anybody else's, so much love, they just like manifest, you know, they're shown, it's shown in your exterior, everything, everything they're shown in your exterior is definitely a reflection of how you're treating yourself and how your thoughts are, how your emotions are, how much are you navigating yourself within yourself and life is going to bring you, oh yeah, well, let me show you. So love yourself so much put your own boundaries find some balance you know find some organization with your thoughts to put yourself out of loops when you're depressed and when you're having anxiety or when you don't know what's up and your mind is going a hundred percent And just be present. And I love you. So they continuous reflecting towards you. Forgive. Um, I also want to say that I would like to forgive myself for everything that I have put myself through in order to learn and realize that I need to step it up and be more fearful, uh, fierce, fierce, you know, like without fear, <laughs> brave, really brave, um, and acknowledging that everything that's outside, it's a part of me, so if you really trust you, you shouldn't be worried about life out there, because you're trusting yourself and life so much, shit's not going to happen to you, you're not putting into your subconscious your fears, and so fears are not going to happen to you, you know, so... It's really filtering in and keeping just that connection and the silence with your mind, with yourself, soul, with your heart, with your emotions. Just feeling this, feeling this peace, feeling this bliss. 
you know, it comes from you just because you are grateful and just because you are here. Just nothing else because you're aware. That's all. So working on relationships with ourselves so it's manifested outside of us. And also having that relationship with yourself through, you know, through the other external forces. Maybe I'm fucking selfish, but aren't we all one? You know, if we're all one, then why would I have to worry about the this other person might do something when I'm trusting me so much, you know? And I have found out the what you perceive out of people, what you project out of people, that's what they will bring to you. Most of the time, I'm not lying. They will. If you're project, if you feel like you're so divine and incredible God, and then you treat other people and know that God is working to them to bring life and, and messages and some type of message, you know, then you're trusting it, you know, and you, and they, whereas that divine power brings it to you. But then if you're projecting to injure yourself, I'm not even going to say because I don't want to send any seeds there. No seeds. All divine. Treat yourself divine. And, you know, every action counts. Every thought counts. Everything counts. Every minute counts. Every, every independently of what you're seeing in front of your eyes. If you're stable within your heart and breathing and keeping your shit together. You know, just let a wave happen. And guess what? Tomorrow, you're going to still hear. And tomorrow, you're going to still hear. And this piss and this bliss, peace and bliss. And this love and this serenity and this confidence and this trust and this harmony, integrity. Your truth. Independently, you know, because you know yourself. You know yourself. And because you know yourself, what other people bring when they're reflecting themselves on you, they won't affect you at all. And instead, you are giving them the chance chance to project that divine part that you're uh, nourishing within you. So I just said more prayers, you know, for all of us. To keep being kind and more loving towards ourselves and put more boundaries and put our limits, you know, with the rest, with our foods, with our water, create the way we're being present in our everyday life and how we make our living in love. Just love your life. Independently of what the fuck is happening, just love it. Love it. So thank you for for empowering this this collective consciousness with your being, you know, and overcoming shit. So just overcome the shit, not just for you, for, for all the people that are also going through it. One day or another, we'll all have to overcome all this stuff. So take it day by day and be kind to everybody and yourself because we're all going through it. You know, it's like a debt. They were all paying, just like taxes. <laughs> so, just, you know, and just pay it, you know, just uh, um, in the indigenous tribes, they call it pagamentos. They're in South America. And there is this indigenous people that only live to make payments, you know, payments, payments, pa- paying for everything that has been taken out of the earth unconsciously. So all those unconscious actions that we do harm, there's a payment that we have to do with consciousness, you know, to kind of balance out all that debt. So... with consciousness be kind of love 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 
love you i love you just love that if nobody has told you to love that you're being loved well guess what i fucking love you i love you so much that i want you to be so amazing and power and free and happy and joyful and abundant and prosperous so yeah you will survive. I love you. I love you. Just be loved. Let yourself feel loved. Receive the love. Life is, life is just love and abundant. Life doesn't want nothing from you. But just to be grateful, that's really it. And to share. Be grateful, share it, and keep receiving. But allow yourself to receive. Feel worthy of it, because you are. All right. I love you. Bye, Jack.